Yannick Sinner versus Holger Runa is a final group stage match for the ADB Finals for 2023. And this match has some really high stakes for both guys. Holger Runa comes into this tournament as number eight in the world. will be making his debut after last year, missing out by one spot, finishing number nine. His win-loss record this year is the worst out of anybody with only 43 wins and 22 losses. But he has won a title this year and has made two big finals in both Monte Carlo and Rome along the way. His best win coming against Djokovic in Rome. And his worst loss was against Nakashima a couple of weeks ago at the Shanghai Masters. His form lately has been a little better though, making it to the quarterfinals of Paris and the semifinals of Basel in recent times. And of course, pushing Djokovic last week in Paris to nearly a three-hour match. So he's starting to get into form just at the right time. Yannick Sinner will be coming into the ATP Finals as the number four in the world, which is his career high ranking, and also finally qualifies on his own back this time around. He has appeared at the ATP Finals before was as an alternate in 2021, winning one of the two matches that he played. But as I mentioned, this would be the first time he's actually qualified and will play all three matches if he stays healthy. His record, 57 wins, 14 losses this year, and he's won four titles from the six finals that he's played, with his biggest title coming in Canada at that 1,000 event. His best win, beating Alcaraz in Miami. His worst loss, coming at the French Open, losing to Altmaier, who was a qualifier from Germany in a five-set shock. His form has been great, though, with his last loss coming as a walkover loss from fatigue and having won Vienna the week before, Sinner will be looking to continue his good form of late towards the end of the year. This year will play twice before with Runa leading the head-to-head 2-0, but they've only played the one time this year with Runa getting a 7-5 third set victory in Monte Carlo. Their only indoor match was actually a win last year also for Runa, but it was a walkover as Sinner couldn't complete the match at 5-2 in that third set. If Runa's going to win this one, he needs to be aggressive and try and block out the crowd. We do know sometimes he does like to get in a little bit of a fight with the crowd. I think he's going to have to avoid that this time around because Sinner's so locked in, just getting distracted by the crowd's going to be bad news. If Sinner's going to win this one, he needs to use that crowd again to his advantage. It works so well against Djokovic and he serves so well again against Djokovic like he did against Tsitsipas. So serving well is going to be a huge key as well for that match against Runa. This is such a fun matchup. Two young guys who both pushed Djokovic this week. Both very, very aggressive players when they want to be. But I'm going to go with Sinner in this one. It's so hard to pick against him. Runa might be able to get him with the 2-0 head-to-head. -head, but man, I think it might be Sinner again because Sinner just beating Djokovic. Huge win. I think he can beat Sinner as well and make it 3-0 in the group. Get to the semis. But let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this one.